October 4th, St. Francis of Assisi. Francis was born in Assisi, a charming hill town in the Italian region of Umbria. His father was a wealthy cloth merchant who traded often in France, and his mother is said to have belonged to a noble family of Provence. Though baptized John, their son was called Francesco, or the Frenchman. Young Francis had an expansive nature and was a lover of life, spending his father's money lavishly. He was also devoted to romantic chivalry, then being extolled by the troubadours. At twenty, he fought for Assisi against Perugia and was imprisoned for a year. Later, he sought to join another general and bought a handsome horse and outfit, but meeting a poor man on the way, he gave him his clothes. Then, taken ill, he heard a voice that invited him to fight for, quote, the master rather than man. As he prayed in the church of San Damiano, he heard a voice coming from the crucifix. Francis, go and repair my house, which you see is falling down. Thinking he was ordered to rebuild the crumbling church, he sold his horse and offered the money to the pastor. From then on, young Francis embarked upon a spiritual path that culminated in his father publicly disowning him. In a dramatic gesture, Francis handed his father all his clothes and was covered by the bishop's cloak. He then set out to beg alms to repair churches in his area. Knowing him, the townspeople mocked him, all of which he bore joyfully. Francis had fallen in love with Lady Poverty, leaving all to find all. His was the calling to counteract the worldly spirit then infecting society, so contrary to the spirit of the gospel that had built the Middle Ages. Around the small chapel of Portiuncala, in the valley below Assisi, he built his first community of wood and mud huts. As others joined him, the community grew, to the point that he had sought approval of Pope Innocent III in Rome, who, having had a dream of Francis holding up God's falling church, blessed his order. Out of humility, Francis gave his order the name Friars Minor, and never sought ordination, thinking himself unworthy of such an honor. He also co-founded a feminine branch of the Franciscans with St. Clair of Assisi. In the fall of the year 1212, St. Francis resolved to go and preach to the Moslems. His first two attempts were foiled, and he returned to Italy where he preached extensively. In 1219, dreaming of martyrdom, he went into Egypt with the crusading army and fearlessly sought and faced the sultan, who, impressed with his teaching, invited the monk to stay with him. But ultimately, he did not convert. Disappointed, Francis returned to Italy to face a crisis developing in his order, now spread throughout Europe. In response to a movement attempting to overturn his initial ideal of strict poverty, he revised his rule. The form ultimately approved by Pope Honorius III in the year 1223 substantially represented the spirit of St. Francis. In August of the year 1224, Francis retired with a companion to Mount Alvernia, where he was granted the stigmata of Christ. As his health worsened, the wounds were a source of further pain and weakness, and he also became nearly blind. He died surrounded by his spiritual sons, laying on the floor as he had requested, exhorting his brethren to love God, poverty, and the gospel before all other ordinances. His constant prayer was, My God, my all. He was 45 and was canonized only two years later by Pope Gregory the Ninth. Francis is the patron saint of the Franciscan order, animals, merchants, stowaways, and the country of Italy.